Some Sunday afternoon volleyball underway here from Coral Gables. And right out of the shoot, service error on Carolina. Babbage goes long on that, so Canes with the first point of 1-0. You don't want to start like that, but it is what it is. Talking about those two losses, losing to Pitt, no shame in that. Losing to Florida State either. Two very good teams. And the Hurricanes will get things going. Payment Yard Dimshi with the serve for UM. And Carolina, they get their first point. Romani Thurman, the freshman out of Little Rock. She gets Carolina the board, and things all tied up at one apiece. And Chaffmaster, who we talked about in the open, she is back to serve now for UNC. That was a great roll shot there to the right side. Another service error there for UNC. I know we talked about this a few games ago, Alan, that we, we never like seeing unforced errors. We'd rather see it go long than short, right? Yes, yes, we do. And uh, yeah, different people tune in. It's obviously to let yeah. people know that modern volleyball, you need to actually push that serve. You need to try to break the opponents on service. You otherwise you're in trouble anyways. Angela Greaves serving for the Hurricanes up two to one here in the opening set. And another shot long, that one from Soppy Hampton. And already the Hurricanes up three to one. And the yeah, the Hurricanes will take all the points they can right now as uh, a couple of service errors, another shot long for UNC. For Manny Thurman, it's only 5'10", but she jumps like she was 6'4". That's why you see her in there. Another service error there on Greaves. So ball goes back to Carolina. Now it's 3-2, to two, so try to, get the service, uh, try to get the serves in order here for both teams. Maybe those first set jitters, butterflies. And Maddie May back for... Carolina to serve uh, for the Tar Heels. They trail three to two here in the opening set. And Vok got it up. It. There's not too much. I mean, I think there's enough I can say about Sienna Tejada. I'm going to keep on mentioning this. She got recruited as an outside, and she's doing a great job as a middle. That says a lot about her. That's a very tough play. That's, that's a one behind the back. 23rd kill for uh, Tejada on the season. Hurricanes up 4-2 here in the opening set. It's a home run. And that one goes uh, long again. That was Sadie Swip. For With the Canes, Payman Jardimchi took on the position that Grace Lopez was starting. So the freshman from Puerto Rico partially has lost her position to the junior. And there's a point there for Carolina Hampton, who shot one long earlier. She puts that one down for the kill. And Carolina trails 5-3 to three here in the opening set. Neilani Feliciano put on a show on Friday. She was all over the place. It must be full of bruises. Romani Thurman serving for UNC. We talk about Heredia Colon. She had that uh, swing there. See if Canes keep it alive. Bach keeps it alive there. And Hampton, another kill. A lot of intensity, though, on the defensive side. That's always great news for coaches. When they're playing defense, they're alive and kicking. So here we see how high she jumps. Yeah, it's a couple kills here in the first set for Hampton as Carolina looking to even things up, trailing 5-4 in the opening set. Thurman with the serve. It's a 30-plus inch vertical. And that one blocked out of bounds. So the Hurricanes will serve it now up six to four and Savannah Bach. Like in all sports, power usually part of the mix for Maria Heredia with that power and that hand breaking the block. Six four Miami here in the opening set, seeking their third straight win. Babic gets it up to Shaftmaster. There's Heredia Cologne. Nice and easy right there. Roll shots work. Yeah. Sometimes you got to do it that way. 7-4 Canes. We've already seen two. One from North Carolina and now from for Maria Heredia. They know where she's going, so she doesn't. she's not actually trying to challenge that block. I love what she did. And Savannah Bach serving again for the Canes. Babic gets it up for Hampton. Nice block there at the net. Gerdimchi and Abby Cassiano there. Hurricanes now up 8-4. They waited there very patiently. Ball setter, ball hitter, pressing those arms. Textbook. Yeah, because Cassiano 
with the block there. And Hurricanes getting another point. All of a sudden now, trying to open things up. Carolina was actually up 4-0 at FSU before they got swept on Friday. We'll see what happens now with them to win. And already a five-point lead in the opening set. As we continue here, Savannah Bach serving for the Hurricanes. And then we'll get an ace. First ace of the afternoon. He's serving really good. It's even funny to see her serve from one to one. She usually has a very nice serve that goes usually straight into the passer who's in five. 13th ace of the season for Bach. 10-4 lead for the Canes. Another good serve. Babbitt gets up for Hampton, blocked at the net. Hampton will try again. There's Heredia Cologne. That one goes out of play. Point for Carolina. And two very similar players um, talking about, obviously, Cologne and then uh, Chef Master. They have those heavy arms. If your arms are not there correctly, they will break that block. Dug out there by Carolina. They won't be able to get that one. Sadie Swift with the kill for UNC. All of a sudden, a couple points in a row out of the timeout. Milana Mosio playing DS. She did a great job on the last match. So did the other DS, Rosado. 10 6 lead for the Hurricanes. Vaca for Heredia Cologne, and that one will drop in. Another kill for her, her third of the afternoon. Nice hit off the hands. Defense tried to get a grip at it, but they couldn't. Angela Greaves coming in for University of Miami. And Heredia Cologne, 20 kills against Duke on Friday night. Ready three today, five point lead for the Canes, but that's a service error into the net. Let's go back to Carolina as UNC now down by four. I'm pretty sure they listen to these transmissions. Plenty of the <laughs> players do. You have enough time to serve. Sometimes when you see that they rush, you wonder why. She needs to just take a little bit more time there. Even more than she's, she has a jumper. Zoe Barrett with the serve for UNC. That one goes out of play. And a point for Carolina. So Carolina keeps getting two in a row, but they just can't find a way to build on it, it seems like, so far in this opening set. 11-8 Miami. Well, good serving on a hitting error will do the trick, so we're getting back. Babic up for Shaftmaster. Talked about it. Second in kills per set in the ACC. Another kill for her. Just has that heavy arm, like I said, with a lot of range. She can pull, but she can also hit away. And uh, look at all the power. Like, if your hands are perfect, she will break that block. And the Canes can't get that one over. Castiano went to the net. All of a sudden, now Carolina trails 11-10. Two hitting arrows in a row out of Cassiano on a bad pass, and that's how you get back in the match pretty easy. 6-2 run for Carolina here in this uh, opening set. Gray blocked at the net. Dug out by Hampton. Shaftmaster sends one over. It's a tight one. Do it again with Babic over to Hampton. Gaines with the block, but couldn't get it over. We're tied up at 11 here in the opening set. We would have thought. Looks like Miami was in total control. Surprise, surprise. And already uh, a test today with North Carolina tied at 11 here in the opening set. Great pass. Vak up to Yardimshi. Good touches there for North Carolina in the net. Hampton, she picks up another kill. That's her fourth of the afternoon. And Carolina takes the lead now 12-11. Hurricanes pretty much been in control this first set, but now Carolina's made a run after they trailed when Carolina called timeout 9-4, now up 12-11. Yardim, she blocked at the net. Nice Amani block. Foster, who one of the top points getters on UNC. It's Carolina, two-point lead. If your Dimchi doesn't get hot, Coach Cano can probably take out Grace Lopez out of that bench and put her back again to start. Barrett with the serve for UNC. The service ace for the Tar Heels. And a total meltdown right now for, for the Kings. 10-2 run now for the Tar Heels. 10-2 is not a, it's not a regular... Um, Run at this level. Barrett, the serve for the Tar Heels. Vak up to Grieve, and she ends the run there. And also at UNC, 
because they made a lot of mistakes early, so they've limited that, but the Hurricanes needed that point. It's a great pass by Feliciano. It starts it all. They, they can have that fast-paced offense that stresses out the blockers so much. Canes now down to 14-12. here in this opening set. And Rosado serving for UM. Good serve by Daidaliz. Great with the touch. That one worked. That's Via points for her. Yeah, so Grieve stepping up here. And the Canes down one. That's a great tip. Straight towards the middle. Let's see if the Canes can tie it up here. It's another good serve. Blocked at the net. Yes. Dempsey able to rebound and put it home to tie things up at 14. It's really good to be a lefty sometimes in this game. As you can see, she had it right there. She goes, why not? 14-14 here in an exciting opening set between the Canes and the Tar Heels and Coral Gables. She needed that one to get her confidence back. Good serving again. Big kill there by Foster. Carolina back up by one. But just to go back to your point, that it, se like, it seems like Carolina's having a problem taking the serves back, and, and we saw over this last sequence. Yes, they have. What a strong arm also by Manny Foster there. Plenty of heavy arms today on the outside. 15-14 Carolina. Now it's tied at 15. I've become a fan of Sienna Tejada, like I said. To be this engaged in a position that you've never played before says a lot about her. We go back and forth here in the opening set, and the Canes serving again. I don't think she played a single set last year. A big, uh, big point there. Vieira with the serve for the Hurricanes. That double sub right now, just to let you know what happened for the Kings, Coach Keno, due to the score, he made that double sub. So now they have Alanis Vieira, who's the setter that you just saw in there. And uh, you have Grace Lopez back in the match now, hitting in the front row. Yeah, Grace Lopez, who we saw played well against Indiana a few weeks ago, gets her first kill of the afternoon, 16-15 Canes. Now one goes out of play from Hampton. She's been active so far in this opening set for UNC, but. So we, yeah, we saw a couple errors early, but now it's kind of been cleaned up on both sides over uh, the last few minutes. And Carolina picks up another point there out of the timeout. That one actually threw the hands. Sienna Tejada could have pressed that well there. And Imani Foster back to serve. She played at Charlotte last year, now at Carolina. And she's trying to tie things up with the Tar Heels here in the opening set. Great set. Grieve picks up the point. Alanis Vieira has, has some of the softest hands I've seen in a very long time. It's a setter's touch. It looks effortless. You just spark look for the team. So it gives Coach Keno this choice, even though they run a 5-1 with Savannah back, who's a stud player. And Grieve after the kill back to serve. The Kane's up two. Blocked at the net. Babic up to Hampton. Another block there. Siana pressing there with the hands. This is pretty cool. Ball setter, ball hitter, and pressing. Really good job. Nice shot by Tejada there. Set a good opening set. And the Canes extend the lead to 3, 19-16. They are surely enjoying playing. Grieve with the serve. That should be four touches. I think they missed on the double touch there. Doesn't matter. Canes get the point. They drop it in, 20 to 16. Lanis Vieira very savvy on those three balls. Hey, why not have a great angle at Siana? They're probably not looking out for her. Let me set her. Great job. That's a great assist. So the Canes now in a 9-2 run after they trailed by three. Pick up another point there. Grieve with the ace. And he has a very, very, uh, when, when she serves, it's very flat and it barely goes over that net. Makes it very hard to pass. Flat and clean. Five point lead now for the Canes. Four away from taking this opening set. Thurman drops it in. Great. 
That one goes out of play. Another point set. for the Canes, yeah. Nani's Vieira there, saw her, saw Andy from the pipe. I go, here you go, buddy. Very clean ball there at the six. It seems like a lot of the serves for, for the Canes that, that Carolina is not having the easiest time returning them, and it's not as clean on their side. That's a good one, though. Babic up to Hampton. Another point for Carolina as they end up stopping that run. And Carolina now within five. I wish I could measure that jump out of Safi Hampton. Jesus, she's really up there. Yeah, she's played very well so far in this opening set. Maddie May with the serve for Carolina. Oh, and that works. Oh! Look at Kane getting better. that point. This one will definitely have to check the replay on it. That's what we call an emotional point. Those, if you ask me, they count a little bit more than only one point. It gets the team going. Let's see if it ends up. There we see Flor Maria Heredia with the block. Usually this ends up being more than one point. Let's see if it works that way. 23-17 lead for the Canes. Another bad pass. Now one's gonna drop in for the point. We're at set point now for Miami. So that emotional point, bringing a couple of other points like it usually does. Carolina led 14-11, but the Canes now one point away from winning this opening set. There's a service ace for Miami. 25-17. Set one in the books. The Hurricanes up 1-0, back with set two. Milana Moiseu serving for the Canes to open up set number two. That's another bad pass. Nice block there at the net. Hampton takes over for Carolina. Three blocked at the net. Moiseu took it back over. Can that one goes there. Or a net. And Yardimshi sends that one long. So Carolina up one nothing here in the second set. The reason why you want to pass, I know it's pretty obvious for, for the ones that are, might not be too savvy at volley, what is that if you have a good pass, your setter has a lot of options. The moment you don't have a good pass, your options become pretty obvious, and then the block stacks there. And that one drops in an ace for Zoe Barrett. Hits the corner, goes right inside, 2 nothing Tar Heels here in the second set. Serving, getting it done like it usually is. Vak over to Grebe. Good defense on that roll shot. The free ball there for Carolina. It works. Hampton will take it. And that was that was a lucky play, but it worked. Barely got over the net and with some spin in it too. But it works. And uh, Hampton finds the opening there. Carolina up three nothing here in the second set. Trouble there for for Maria Redia. And it drops in by Grebe. They needed that one. In we that have rotation, they have, sorry, they have yeah. Angie and Fort Maria Heredia very close to each other, so it makes it difficult for them to understand whose responsibilities are, you know? First point for the Canes here in the second set. Three blocked at the net. Nice tip. Hampton blocked again, there's Tejada. Tejada having a blast in the last couple of matches in the middle. Being very smart. If I cannot hit, I'm just going to place it down. I'm not going to hurt my team. And I get a chance to block back. Smart volleyball. So Kane's a couple points in a row here. They trail 3-2. Yardimshi goes long on that one. Another service error for Miami. And Carolina will serve now up 4-2. Romani Thurman back in for the Tar Heels. Live by the sword, lie, uh, die by the sword. But... Anita Babic, the setter for Carolina serving. Vak up to Grieve. Oh, she got a touch, did she? No, no, straight into the net. You probably have the worst angle for that ball. I thought at some moment she touched it. But... Carolina back in front by three. They have the first three points of the set. Reeve will pick up another point. Her sixth kill of the afternoon. I think that 
when for Maria Heredia becomes a better passer and she's working really hard and she becomes a solid passer, this team will be in contention. And Grieve, after that kill, she will serve down 5-3. It's another good serve. You can't let those, you just cannot let those balls at any level. You cannot relax on those. That was an easy ball to dig. Look at that, from the ground towards one, Jardimchi was way too much on the inside, couldn't make a move. Yeah, Hampton finds the back corner there for the point, 6-3 Carolina. Shredia Cologne blocked at the net. Jardimchi blocked as well. As much as uh, Payman had a great uh, game on the last one, she's struggling a bit on this one. And Sydney Nolan comes in with the block there, 7-3 Tar Heels. And now it's out of bounds. You don't want those hitting errors. That's... You know, let's see what, uh, what Keno's got to say here, down 8-3. I have no clue. Oh, pretty much that they were not set up. And by the way, ref just right now, she just didn't even check. You're supposed to check the serve receive right. player to see that they're set up. That one drops in by nice Foster. 9-3 lead for the Tar Heels. So they bounce back after dropping the opening set. Coach Cano might be also sending a statement here. You're going to have to get out of this one on your own. Here's Hampton serving for UNC, goes long. That's a freebie, you like those. Whenever you're in trouble, I tell my parents, let, let them be in trouble, let them get out of trouble. You don't want to give them that relief of, wow, that serve was out, so. Well, now the Canes have a side out, down five. Still a long way to go in the second set. Good luck. Collision there for the Canes. Thurman blocked at the net. Uh, player went in the net too. Nobody saw it there. A point for Miami. That's a scary one as we saw the other day here. You don't want to be in the net. Watch out when she hits. Look where she lands. Way over that line there. 9-5 the Canes trail here. There's Hampton, she goes long on that one. Point for the Canes. Even though she went long, my friend, what a swing. Yeah. She has the hops, what a great athlete. So that's now three straight points for the Canes. So after some struggles, they're back in this thing down 9-6 in the second set. She's a freshman. Heredia Cologne couldn't get that one, but she got it over. I don't have those stats, but I am pretty sure that she has to be the number one scoring freshman in the ACC. And I think Grace Lopez, the last time we were here, was, was in second, but Grace Lopez didn't play the last match, so she could be actually leading. Well, Hampton at 23 coming into today's action. She got seven so far today. It's a bright future there for North Carolina being her freshman. Look at that, that swing. <laughs> Carolina picks up another point there. And Hampton's been the star so far for UNC this afternoon. Coach Kendall saying that on those high balls because those pipes are not really that fast that they can actually jump in and, and go for a triple block and press. 10-7 lead for UNC. That pass. And an ace for UNC. And for Maria Redia, she's trying. She understands that's probably her only weak point, but she will get better at this, and it, she'll be pretty scary when she does. May with the serve for Carolina. Foster goes up. Wow. Nice block at the net. <laughs> that one. It's a great idea when it was out. Lots of off-system play for those coaches out there. Do you practice off-system? It happens so much. Now in, just, in system, everybody's having fun. Right. What about off-system? Now it just barely goes out of bounds. Kane's down five. 
Nice job by Miami to get it back. Abby Cassiano there. It's a player that uh, I think everyone sees her potential. She's a great blocker. She's tall. She moves well. She needs to get her groove on offense. And then box serving for Miami. Another one. Yeah, there's Foster again, or, or Hampton rather, again. Lots of pipes coming, hitting out of position six. Reminding everyone, the moment that she jumps from behind that line, she can land anywhere she wants to unless she goes under the net. And this girl flies. Nine kills for Hampton so far today. 13-8 lead for the Tar Heels. Marissa Meyerhofer serving for UNC. Heavy arm, a touch. Nice dig there by May to keep it alive for Carolina. With a block at the net. Foster's played well. If you're a baseball fan, you can understand what I'm saying. She's a home run hitter. Yeah. So usually that means that when you strike out, you strike out this, this bat too. When you hit the ball this hard, yeah, it also comes back really hard. But that's her superpower too. Carolina by six here in the second All set. The Dumped in there by Babic. She She's hidden. UNC hitting 429 in the second set. Service ace there for Carolina. That's an unfortunate one, but it touched the net. And uh, mother in volleyball allows that. It's called the let serve. Abby couldn't handle it. Meyerhofer with the ace there. Back to serve again, 16-8 Carolina. Vak up to Yardimchi. There's Foster putting it over. That one. Uh, that's a touch. Oh, I think that was a touch. Oh, Ken doesn't come out the green yeah. with the, uh, the the challenge card. I know it's a tough one for the refs. The ball is going really fast, but yeah. I kind of saw that touch and see if my eyes still work. It's a big swing here. Yes. It flips around. What, you get 16-9. It's going to 17-8. Miami needs to turn this around really fast, whether you win or lose this one, but momentum-wise, they totally lost it. They had a great momentum on the first yeah. set. Maybe they relaxed after winning big and closing big that first set, and now they're down big, too. Let's see. That's a touch. I see the deflection of the ball. See on this angle. You see? And everybody's screaming, so... Not conclusive from there, but. I think there was a touch. Yep. Yes. So a touch on Carolina. It goes from 17-8 to 16-9. Big swing there. And the Hurricanes will serve with Heredia Cologne. We'll see if this can turn things around. I think there should be. You're going to crack up, but I, I think that... Um, that they might be another rule in which you can actually ask the player, did you touch it and we can actually just get rid of this? <laughs> right. Exactly. There we go. Running that slide. Yeah. Haven't seen it too much. Miami struggles with that slide. Cross court slipping it in. Lots of power there from uh, Sadie uh, Swift. Seven. Yeah, Sadie Swift. But you're going to the honor system there, Alan. You're saying you got to you got to say yes, I did it. International, yeah. they do, yeah. and uh, there's a there's a green card now for sportsmanship if you do it. Okay. Grieve with the shot there, blocked at the net. Already a cologne with the kill. She has a bat in that hand. When she hits that ball, she hammers it. And she grieves there, recovering. And get that arm wrist away there. Kane's down 7, 17, 10. You got that mows here. Nice job there by Foster. Manny Foster, a graduate, doing the job, hitting out of the position one with only 5'10", but all the hops in the world. So Carolina back up by eight now, 18-10 here in the second set. And it hits off the ceiling. Kareem with the kill. 
seventh kill for her this afternoon. Deep cross, really good job, and the double sub comes in for Miami. For North Carolina, number seven coming in, Sadie Swift. So Alanis Vieira and Grace Lopez in now for that 6-2. See if they can come up with a run. Still sure Alanis is a spark plug, so let's see if she works. Yeah, still time to go, but also time running out a little bit for the Canes here as the Tar Heels up by seven. Seven points is a huge lead in yeah. volleyball. So we'll see if they make a bit of a run here. Vieira with the serve. Another point for the Tar Heels, Sydney Nolan. Smart using the middle there. She had help. I don't know how committed that help was there. So the Tar Heels in control of this second set. Babic, the server, or the uh, serving, the uh, setter, serving for the Tar Heels. They have served really well. I got there by Vieira. Lopez, oh. yeah, got blocked. Another point for Carolina. In this rotation, Lopez being a lefty, whoever is going to push that second ball out, which is obviously the setter, when, uh, when the, they have a situation of setter out, you need to push it way out because she's a lefty. If you leave it inside, she has no choice. 20-11 to 11 lead for North Carolina. They're serving bombs, by the way. On the free ball there. Babic sets it up, blocked at the net. Off the net. Yeah. Off the hands, I should say. Good job. They, they're truly destroyed Miami in this set. They haven't been able to pass the ball well, and then everything has gone well for North Carolina. So UNC up by 10, but luckily for the Canes, a service error by Babic. Gonna go back to the Canes. Still with some life. They got a lot of work to do here to take a 2-0 lead. And Carolina just trying to end that seven-set drought they've had over the last uh, few matches. Coach Keno looking for everything in the book. Yaidaliz Rosado to serve for Angie Greaves. Blocked at the net there. Tejada and Heredia. So now all of a sudden, a couple points in a row for Miami. Still had a lot of work to do, but down eight, 21 13. Coach Keno brought out the spark plug team. Another point there, it's Hampton. It's a great hit over the block there towards the line. Put your eyes on this girl. <laughs> 23 kills entering today on the season. That's 10 so far today alone. From what I see here, she was born to hit. <laughs> and that one too. Yep. Right Grace Lopez there. So a couple of freshmen stepping up here of late. Well, she Hampton's was actually been, yeah. starting yeah. until a couple of matches in which your Dimchi took over and did a great job. The thing is you need to maintain that level to be in there. Tar Heels up 8, 22-14, trying to even things up at one apiece. Grace Lopez out of the western part of, the, of Puerto Rico has been playing since very early in her life. Herman drops that one in. Heredia Cologne. Touch. Was there yes. a touch or not? Yes. They say yes. Kane's down, yeah, Kane's down seven. Keno getting into this one. Yeah, also telling for Maria Heredia not to lose track of the ball. You never want to lose track of the ball. Your timing depends on it. Nice dig by Alanis Vieira. Getting on the floor here. Nice dig. Thurman yes. finds the back corner. Let me tell you this. North Carolina team has hot arms everywhere. Mm -hmm. Great athletes that jump out of the roof and smack that ball. 23-15 Tar Heels, two points away from taking the second set. And Maddie May back to serve for UNC. Nice dig. Send the free ball back over. And 
touch there, also by number 12. Nice shot by Lopez. A couple kills here the last few times out. They need to bring the 6-2 back, obviously, because you cannot leave Alanis Vieira in the front row. But I won't be surprised if Grace Lopez gets to start on the third set based on what we've seen so far. 23-16 lead for North Carolina here in the second set. Box serving for Miami. That one drops on the Kane side. Heredia Cologne. That was a touch on the line judge. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get out of the way. That one, that's a fastball coming. That's Tito Marrero, one of the best referees in town, being a line judge today. One of his line judges yeah. couldn't make it, and he goes, I'll go and do it. The door here with one more point. Meyerhofer serving for the Tar Heels. That one goes long. They're cutting a touch on who? Nobody touched that ball. Here it comes. Line judge was pretty clear. Tito Marrero was like, no. Man, wondering, looks... wondering who called it. I don't think right. it, it could never be the other line judge. That's not your line. And Mike Shaw, the head coach of North Carolina, challenging this one. Obviously, if it goes out, then Carolina will win this second set. Let's see if we got the evidence. Not even close. Yeah. So the line judge there, that's the protocol. Moving away while keeping your eyes on the ball. Totally out. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Pointed the wrong way, but uh, ball was out. Point to North Carolina, set to North Carolina. As they win 25 to 16, serve for North Carolina. She has six kills so far on the afternoon for the Tar Heels. And we're underway here in the third set. Off the hands, did it slip in? Yeah, and a it's point, a score. And they said that it goes out of bounds. It took a second there to decide, but point to Miami right out of the gate. Yeah, line judge set out, so they were wondering whether it touched anything else, but it didn't. And Grace Lopez back to serve for Miami. That no one touch. goes long from uh, Swift. No touch there. And um, as expected, Grace Lopez taking back her starting job. Yeah, Damon Jardim, she had such a great match on the last one, but she struggled a bit in this one, so they had to make the adjustments. And Lopez serving again for Miami, up 2 nothing here in the second set, or third set, rather. And a free ball for Carolina. Vak up to Grieve. Out of bounds, trying to hit that line. Clearly out. Tito Marrero right on top of that place. Now it just hooks out, so first point for the Tar Heels here in the third set. It's good reffing. Barrett with the serve for UNC. Finding the opening there is Tejada. Tejada has a great job. First of all, she's doing great. She's engaged. But I don't think she's still not at anybody's radar. Mm -hmm. So the moment you set her, it should be a one-on-one -on -one situation. 3-1 lead for the Canes here in this third set. Greaves serving for Miami. You see the touch? Yes, it did. Off the hands. And Hampton there picks up another kill. She continues a solid day. Plenty of things to work for, for the Canes. How do we stop this girl? How do, how do we serve to make her struggle? How do we make... How do we serve to make the setter not have such an easy time with her there? 11 kills for Hampton so far this afternoon. And as, as you know, I mean, there's, there's a lot of adjustments here. They're pairing her up against, uh, against Savannah. Bavick serving for North Carolina. Ready, Cologne drops that one in. Blocked at the net. Someone needs to swing at this ball. That's Heredia Cologne. 
Shane known yet for finesse. As a coach, I will feel way better if she does what she does best, which is swing that arm. That's her superpower. Seventh kill for her so far in the afternoon, 4-2 Miami here in the third set. It's out. And that serve goes long. Feliciano would love to have that one back. She was spectacular on Friday night. Hampton with the serve for UNC. Rosado couldn't handle that one. Nice block by Savannah back in the net. Foster. Oh, that one go drops right in for Lopez in the back corner. Lopez ready. She has that offensive instinct. Look how ready she was. She was already coming forward. Being a lefty, hitting that line, what a beauty of a shot. And she hits it so deep. I love her arm swing. 5-3 lead for Miami here in this third set. Mike Shaw the discussion there. Maybe some doubts over the call. We see it pretty clear here from where coaches are. Sometimes they're not as clear. Ready Cologne blocked at the net. When you're there on your setup, like four hands are waiting for you. You just cannot try to break those hands all the time. You need to try to tool. Three best things to do is that outside hand to take it out. You can do top of the hands or you can tip. And Carolina now trails 5-4 here in this third set. That's a nice placement there. Santa with the dig. That one goes out of play. Point to the Hurricanes. Some good back and forth here in this third set, yes. Alan. Yes, uh, good action. I think both teams are playing now more stable volleyball. You saw Grace Lopez there as a lefty. They're so hard to catch from anywhere, but you seldom see them on the on the left side, which she has to stay there for one rotation. The moment they push that ball out, she can swing. Ready, Cologne. Look at that. Wow. Here comes the Dominican shuffle. There's a little yeah. merengue going on there. No one's going to get to that ball. And look, 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 look at the meringue there. There you go. 7-4 lead for Miami. For Cologne, she has seven kills in the afternoon. Whoa, Ooh. Savannah back got hit in the face. There's Foster again. This is not in the rule book, but I'm going to say it out loud. When you hit somebody in the face, you don't celebrate that point. You're actually supposed to raise your hand and ask the player if she's okay. That's a lack of culture that we've been seeing mm -hmm. left and right in the States, and it needs to go. She might have a little bit of blood there. She's a trooper. She'll be mm -hmm. fine. But when you see international yeah, right. ball, best players in the world right. are millionaires. Right. They will immediately, same as tennis, yeah. raise that hand. Right. It is something that I've been preaching lately because this is this is culture, guys. Right. This is not part of the game. So instead right. of the celebration, you raise your hand. It's not part of it. And then you, you do whatever you need to do. And Maria Miggin, she serves for UNC. That one drops right in. And he has that finesse. I think that before we see for Maria Redia graduate, you will see that out of her. Comes with confidence, comes with hours of training. Good serving by Mosio. That's a great hit, super deep. Nobody was able to get that one from Imani Foster. Look at that one, what a nice range. Hitting way deep on that line, pretty much undiggable. Vak gets up to Lopez. That's great news for the Kings to have her back swinging. When she's on, she's on. For whatever reason, also, Mabry Shaft Master ain't anymore on the starting lineup. Yeah, we for North Carolina, so their best scorer, it's out. Yeah, we haven't seen her 
I'm serious for the first set. It's an overpass. Good yeah. job there. And the Canes now trying to open things up of 10-6. You see Bach is back after she took that shot to the face, but she's all right. Lopez has given them a good stability, and she has been really able to score nice. Nice shot by Babic there, but... What are they calling? They call, oh, a double hit. A double hit? I mean, let me, I want to double check that one. Was that a one-handed? Let me see. Let me see. Watch. Yes. Uh, uh, going right either way. Back. Yeah, <laughs> tough one. 11 6 Canes here. Oh, what a great serve. Fabric again goes to the net. She'll set up Hampton. Great set. What a great job by Savannah Bag. We always talk about the one that finishes the play with Bush Andrew Greaves. But what about that fast paced set? Perfect. To position four out of Savannah. Want to jeopardize anything over a match that they all count, but obviously it's not a life and death situation. So, rest her. Good job by the coaching staff. And Great Imani kick. Foster sends that one back. Whoa. Nice job by the Hurricanes at the net there. I'm yeah. telling you, Tejada, she's had, uh, she's played very well so far this afternoon. Tejada and also back setting her up. If that, um, that wing blocker doesn't give you the right perception, you might not get there. So that was a great block. 13 6 lead for the Hurricanes. Consistency of Grace Lopez serving is ridiculous. And Foster sends it over. Nice dig. Grieve. Nice and easy. Gets it done. 14 6 Canes. Great job of finesse there. She has it. That comes with experience for Angela Greaves. Great digging by Maddie May on the North Carolina side. Hustling every single play. When you see a jump serve like um, Grace Lopez, you try to get two to three in. Usually the fourth one doesn't come in. And in fact, stats say that after that third one, it's pretty much that she's going to miss. I hope I don't jinx her, but she's mm -hmm. been super consistent there with that really offensive serve. And there Lopez with the uh, service error there into the net. Stats that, don't lie on that one. Back to Carolina now, 14-7 lead for the Hurricanes. If you can get seven out of 10 in, yeah. that's, that's my number. And by the way, she scores a lot when she serves, so it's totally worth the risk. And Zoe Barrett serving for UNC. Great pass by her, too. Ball was out, clearly out, no touch. One thing about Lopez, uh, for coaches that start with early specialization, as you can see, she plays on opposite or right side, but she also has the skills to pass. She can be an outside if she wants to. So kudos to all the coaches in Puerto Rico that did that great job on her. 15-7 lead for Miami, Greaves serving for the Canes. Another bad pass. That's a free ball. Hampton over for North Carolina. And that's a hot hand. They gave it to Grace Lopez. Good digging. Another point there for Hampton. Continues to shine for UNC today. Yes, she is. And, and I also like her, her attitude in the court. As you can see, her body language, it's so good. She's, she's there to fight. We have a sub for the Canes, too. Rosado comes in and grieves. Will be rested. From the back row, let Rosado do that job, and then she'll come rest it to him. Babic with the serve for North Carolina. Cologne drops it in. Tipping the, works. And you know what? They've done that several times today. Sometimes players tip, and it's like a, it's like it was second best into hitting. And I go, if, if you're scoring, it's actually as good. And so far, from afar, watching it from here. Tip has been money for the Canes. It has, and the Canes up by eight now here in the second set, or third set. Losing track of the sets here this afternoon. Another pass that generates a free ball. That one hits the antenna. That one got away from Savannah back yeah. hand. And Carolina with the point. She owns it, she's just like, I have it. Yeah, you're human, Savannah. It's okay mm -hmm. to miss one. Hampton has served for North Carolina. A seven point hole here. Now an eight-point hole. 
service error for UNC. When your team is playing flat like it is right now, last thing you want to do is put that ball into the net. This is pretty uh, funny. Like Mike Shaw is actually telling the ref, this is how I'm moving my girl so you don't consider this an overlapping, which is something that you shouldn't be telling a ref because mm -hmm. you should know the rules. Right. But, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. It happens. And North Carolina have had some struggles in this set down 17-9. Box serving for the Canes. And Foster finds the back corner. And over the block on that one. Nothing to do with it. She has a hammer. Watch as she goes over that block. Boom. Very deep with range. 17-10 lead for Miami. May serving for UNC. There's huh. Lopez again. Back. Back hey. line. She found it. People always talk about lefties hitting out of the right side. And I go, yeah, you want to see a bigger um, a headache? See them hit from the left side. You seldom see them there, like I said, as a right side. She needs to be there for one position. She seems to be very at ease hitting out of four. Seven kills for Lopez this afternoon. Eight-point lead for the Canes. And oh, Cologne found it. And I've seen something in Cologne that it's a different uh, approach of what she's doing there. She had like a little hesitation hop. She ain't doing it today. I think she's in better flow. And the service ace for Miami, a 19-10 lead over North Carolina here in the third set, trying to go two to one here on this Sunday afternoon. Third set, and Heredia Cologne. Oh, it's a bomb too. With the serve, Canes get the point. So screaming to the other side by Abby Cassiano. I mean, you watch Cologne, too, on the serve. I think there's been a lot of smack yeah. talk under the net, and that's why Cassiano said, well, I have some Puerto Rican jeans, too. There you go. Just look how, I mean, just how, oh, that one, she didn't go as far. But, I mean, she was going far on those serves. Thurman nice picks up the point there on the touch. So For Maria Heredia took, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah, yeah. For Maria Heredia, Change the way that she's doing those jumpers. I like this technique better. Mm -hmm. She had like a little hiccup there before she served, which I found right. a little bit weird. Now she's in momentum and in rhythm. I like this one way better. And Marissa Meyerhofer serving for UNC. Vach gets it up to Lopez for the point. Lopez has claimed her spot again. I don't think without a doubt right now. She's getting it done with the block. Such, such a beautiful, easy swing. It's, it's flawless. It's perfect the way she actually brings that hand on the side all the way through. And Moiseo with the serve for Miami. Nice job there of uh, Hampton though. She went long. Good shot, but just a little too much. Juice on it, 22-11 Miami. Moisio oh, saw that one. She went, yep. let me get out of this one. <laughs> and Moisio back to serve. Canes need three points to win this third set. Foster blocked there at the net, but the point goes to UNC. Probably one of the things that Grace needs to work on. Remember, this is girl 17 years old coming out of Puerto Rico. She, she needs to get used to the power of the ACC. Blocking is probably something that she needs to work at, and, and that's fine. She has four years for that. And Foster's serve goes just a touch long. Service error and the point to the Canes, two away from claiming the third set. Great eye work by Feliciano there, tracking it early the way you're supposed to. And here's Lopez with the serve. Babic up to Hampton. Another She's kill for stuck. her. She's 13 today. She's an elite hitter. She's way up there. She goes really hard on that line. If you can pair her up against any setter, she'll have a good one. Zoe Barrett with the serve for UNC. Great pass by Heredia. Oof. And that's an X-ray right there. That was a hard hit right off Meyerhofer. Yep. Oh. 
set point for the Hurricanes with Greaves serving up 24-13. That it. one goes out of play. Point for the Canes. Set to the Canes, 25-13. Miami one set away from picking up their third straight win. In North Carolina returns to face Louisville. That's not easy coming up on Friday. And Moisillo with the serve to start off the fourth set for the Canes. Nice pass. Touch the antenna. And a point for Miami right out of the gate. Foster with the swing there, but they go into the net. one nothing Canes. Grace Lopez communicating with Savannah back. Savannah's in the back, and she can see her block probably telling her, move, not move. What are you doing? What are you leaving? Awesome to see that communication. And Moisillo serving again for the Canes. Nice flat serve. That one goes long and a point for Miami. So 2 nothing Canes right out of the chute. I have no clue of what's going on. Something with the scoreboard. And the Canes looking for a 3 nothing lead here in the fourth set. Babic up to Foster. Nice dig by Moisillo. The free ball there by Lopez. Blocked at the net. Another point for the Canes. Lopez and Tejada there, both enjoying. I'd love to see the smiles, you know. They seem to be enjoying what they're doing. They seem to be relaxing there. That's great for Coach Keno. There's a lot of good body language on the Canes side of things for the last three matches, which is great. Yeah, off to a good start here. And that one goes into net for Moisiu. Point to North Carolina. Took a bit of steam off. Coach Ken was talking to the down ref because this is something that I also stress them about. The rule says he cannot move until the person touches the ball. And lots of players go early. That's the job of the second referee. And that's that. And the moment you tell them, they seem to get upset with you. But you know what? I'm sorry, you're not yep. watching it. It is what it is. Another kill here for the Canes. And different to the double touch thing, which we talked about the other day, that is an advantage. Right. The moment that you can leave early and be early on the spot you're supposed to be, of course it's a huge advantage. 4-1 Miami here in the fourth set with Lopez serving. It's a whip, man. Vak up to Lopez again, another <laughs> point. No He's a drops scoring in. machine, man. He's a scoring machine. Great job by Savannah back, who also sets up this offense. We mention every time the hitters. We don't mention the one that makes them great hitters, but that's her. And Vok had 47 assists Friday against Duke. It's already been uh, twice setter of the week at the ACC. And you mentioned, too, uh, Alan, a little earlier when Lopez was inserted into the match. We didn't see her early on that Keno made the move, and all of a sudden now it's been a bit of a spark plug for the, the Canes offensively. Coach Keno, first of all, obviously he knows his stuff, but he sees the numbers, and the moment that things are not working, he, he won't hesitate you know, to push that button. And Foster sends that one long. Another, Another point for the Canes. So far out of the six points, three hitting errors. That's way too many. 6-1 <laughs> lead with Lopez serving for the Canes. Somebody was down. Sienna Tal <laughs> fell down. She's laughing about it. A lot of action here at the net. That's set up for Grieve. Oh. Drops it in. Four in that sharp cross with blockers. That's even more, more power to her. Look at the nice transition steps. There you go. Go GMS. So for Grieve, that's 11 kills on the afternoon. And a 7-1 lead here in the fourth set for Miami. Seen Angela Grieve grow so much as a, as a player from that player that she always obviously had the talent. But now she's in charge. You can see that she's comfy in there. She enjoys leading. She's laughing more. It takes a little bit of time, you know, for players to, to mature. 152 kills entering today for Greve, which led Miami. And that one goes long on the serve from Lopez, so point for the Tar Heels. 
after scoring a couple of times and getting aces, you don't mind those. Yeah, and, and, and Carolina, uh, it just seemed like after that second set, it's all gone downhill for them. Grieb, that was Almost. kept alive by Carolina. Grieb will do it again. And net. And number seven for North Carolina, Sadie Swift. And on serve receive there on the last one, like I said, Grace Lopez give, gives Coach Keno an option. And even though I'm an opposite and I'm not supposed to pass in the back row, I can. Therefore, I make myself more valuable. Grieb with the serve again up 8-2. Hampton. Lopez can't get that one over. Got a little bit fancy there, just try to roll it in. Not enough height. Eight to three. Still a, a five point lead for the Hurricanes, trying to. And now since Rosado yeah. comes in, now she can actually just do what opposites do in the back row, which is rest and wait to hit. Here's Meyerhofer serving for UNC. Out of bounds. Oh, it actually, oh, it went in. Yeah, she's at the end. She thought it was going out. Let's see from this angle. She knows it's a right call. You can see from here, yeah. yeah. It's a great serve, by the way, too. 8 4. Canes with the lead. Nice touch there on the mat. And Cologne drops it back over. That was too tight. And that was too in. <laughs> Hampton again. The 13th kill of the afternoon. They're going to challenge whether it went inside or outside the antenna. So we're going to see. That was a very fast one. We have the worst angle to make any kind of comment. Yeah, we're not we're right even. right on yeah. the opposite side, so we will have to see this one. Due to the fact that there's an antenna, it should be an easy one to check. Yes. The moment that you see the ball not going through, that's pretty much it. Let's see. Let's see it again. Yeah, it's truly in. Yeah. 100% in. Yeah. Third challenge we've had so far today. Two of them were on touches, this one on the antenna. Yeah, it's pretty clear. The way it should be. Oh. No, no, he, he, yeah, he's pointed the wrong yeah, way twice. Okay. He knew that one. It's based on the protocol, like on the regular play, you will call right. it out the way it goes, but. Right. What matters is that he got it right. Exactly, yeah. 8-5, the Hurricanes with the lead. And UNC still hanging around here in this uh, fourth set, not willing to go away just yet. Shout out to the line judge, Tito Marrero. You got it right, buddy. Meyerhofer. Oh. Half the block at the net, Tejada. Siana Tejada stepping in. We haven't even talked about this. Janis Leao, it's not playing yeah. for the Canes. The, one of the best middles in the ACC. Yeah. And this team has looked great, and I need to say that Siana Tejada has done an outrageous job. Yeah, without Leao here, and they're still uh, doing uh, pretty well at the net so far this afternoon. Canes up by four. Hampton able to drop that one in. Yep. Lopez got a piece of it. Good tipping. This is still a good match. Only only up by three points. That's a small rally here in yeah. women's volleyball. See if they serve to for Maria Heredia there. If Rosado can help her out. Carson Overbeck yeah. serving for UNC. There. It's pretty much an expected serve to her, you know? Nice up. Right down the line, out of bounds. Out of bounds, yeah. She went in like super soft into that approach. Coach Cano doesn't like what he sees. I still have a two-point lead. Why not? Let's wake them up. UNC. Oh, 
great swing. And, and, bounce, and the Tar Heels couldn't keep it in. And Swift got the last piece of that one and a point for Miami. That heavy arm from for Maria Heredia. I don't know if something happened with somebody in the bench, but for Maria Heredia is going back and forth with somebody at North Carolina side. That was over the block right there. Great hit. Yeah, nice job by Foster. Her ninth kill of the afternoon. Way over that block, Foster. Nice approach. Great swing. She hits deep, which you keep on telling juvenile players, stop hitting down. The block is there. That's where you hit. Bach keeps it alive to Lopez. It's a free ball. Yeah. Good rally here for both teams. That's a bad set there. That one goes long. She got under that ball. Point to Carolina. See Keno discussing this one. He's going to double check on the net that probably he saw or somebody missed. Interesting. He's still up, but 11 to 8 looks way better than 10 to yeah. 9. So why not? He seems to be pretty confident when he... I don't even think he asked anyone. What happened in that play, actually, like, which happens a lot, is that for Maria Heredia, for some reason, was way under the ball. Let's see if that... something if you see number 12 we're trying yeah. to look at that outside arm i don't think it's a conclusive one i don't think that they should get it and to let everybody know what the rule is when it's inconclusive with which yeah, obviously you stick with the first you call. gotta you gotta go with the with the call that that yeah. happened yeah you need the evidence and we've seen it i think it's fair enough to be honest and then when people also get mad at whatever happens, they go, well, back in the day, we didn't have this, so you have to take it. And uh, refs are human beings. Yeah. You know, they, they miss on once. Yeah. I have seldomly seen, and yeah, you can quote me, I have seldomly seen a ref mess up a match. Right. It's hard. It, it, it's they, hard. You, they, you take a point, but what about the other 24? Like, you know, if you look right. back at it, they, they maybe on a 1% they can decide a match, at least in volleyball. I know right. other sports could be different, you know. But here's just one point. In football, it's seven. 
You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Basketball is two or three, yeah. but here, come, you know, it is what it is. Well, well and also, too, the, the replay argument that you say, oh, if you didn't have it, but if it can help the match and you get it right, then... Yeah. That's, this is the angle that I think it's the best one. Yeah. And I don't think it's conclusive enough. That's all oh, that's... Oh, so they're checking for another play. This is when Abby Cassiano actually hit the ball. So this is a whole different play. That's why they're taking so long. And on this one, Yeah, that's a net right there. Yeah, that's a good angle. That's a net. That's a net. Yeah. So if you're at home watching and you seem to be confused, so are we, because we're looking at one play and now we see another one, but in this one, it, there is. There is a net. Right. Same way that we right saw the, the other one, there was no, or it was inconclusive. You can see her hands going down there. Yep, yep. Boom, and that's a touch right there. To me, it's obvious, but then I'm not the ref. So whatever he says goes. Uh, let's see what the verdict is. He's about to make the ruling. Well, Phil Collins seems Are to you, know. It, 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 Phil Collins it, sees it in the air tonight, so let's see, yeah? Oh, wow, they said the net. Not too much to argue after right. after a video is yeah. there. I, I, hearing, it's a correct call. I'm hearing the Phil Collins blasting and they're all at the table like, like trying to get close. Like, I can't hear you. Oh, man. Big point there for the Canes up 3-11-8. Yeah, enough chatting. Come on, let's go, guys. Yeah. We have a game. Smart also, I mean what Mike Shaw did. Yeah, I want to give a little bit of a talk. I want to yeah. I want to make you think it over more. Flor Maria Heredia also um, serves right. a jumper. Let me, let me try to freeze you a bit there. All right, it's a piece of the net. Yeah. We'll set it up for Foster. Some touch yeah, right there. On Colon. So 11 9 Canes. You can even see there. It's a great hit, by the way. She ripped that ball. Babic with the serve for UNC. Yep. Oh, it's a great dig. Nice job there by Foster. Her 12th kill of the afternoon. And Elia needs to start passing. She's hurting this team way too much on serve receive. They had a nice comfort lead, and now it's 11 to 10. The Hurricanes were in control of this early in this set. Now Carolina can tie with a point, there you which go. they get on the service ace by Babic. So all yeah. of a sudden, 11 11, Howland. Yep. Yeah. Maybe a sub later on for a DS. But somewhere down the road, she needs to figure this one out. You just can't be subbing hard. You need a six uh, rotation outside if you want to have a shot. Vak up to Gree, blocked at the net. Vak to Lopez, blocked again, this time by Nolan. Carolina leads at 12-11. There goes your lead. Alanis Vieira coming now and talking about players with multi-roles. Alanis has always been a setter. She's a coach's daughter, both mom and dad coach. There's not anything that she cannot, there's there, anything she cannot do in the court. That one, oh, that one deflected. And that Foster was a takes bigger that. deflection, what a spike. Went off Hampton's shoulder. So athletic, Hampton. And, then, and this is what happens when you relax. Yeah. And the other team starts to get everything. Then they hit the ball now with the nose, and it becomes a point. And all the awkward things that you haven't seen start to happen. That's why you need to close down matches when you have that chance. All credit to North Carolina. They've been fighting this one out. 
Tar Heels at 13 points in the third set. They have 13 already in this fourth set. Make it 14. Babic, another service ace. Alana's not happy. She knows she can do better there. But the other two subs already went in, so the other two S's are out for Coach Keno. Leaves her with that only option. Maybe Feliciano taking a step that way to cover more court. She got it done. Good defense. Lopez with the tip. Another tip, another point. They needed that one desperately. Slow things down. There's Moiseu back to serve. They need a couple of points and one, at least one emotional point to get back. Right now, momentum shifted towards the Tar Heels. 14-12, Carolina the lead here in the fourth set, trying to force a fifth set. Moiseo to serve for Miami. Foster gets up high, gets the point. Nice hit, cross court there. Defense a little bit, maybe too much on the inside. Let's see that block, see what happened. Block was actually pretty cool. She stayed well inside. She just went super sharp in that cross court. So Foster now serving for Carolina. But a big point there, Tejada continues to have a huge day. I would love to see those middles get more into it. Like I said, they're not checking on them. They're not jumping on them. Give them the ball. Good job. Also, you need a pass for that, which that wasn't the case. Lopez serving for Miami, down two. Nice jumper. Blocked at the net by Grebe. The free ball. Grieve, nice tip, ah, able to get it over. 13th kill. If it's tipping that gets it done, tip. Yeah. Got that defensive player, maybe with her body weight, a little bit leaning towards the back. Kane's now down one, 15-14. You want to try to close down a match in four sets. You don't want to go to the fifth. No. It's overtime for us. It's uh. But also, Anything can happen in 15 points. And also, Carolina, they... Not to say they're playing with house money at all. They still got a ways to go. They can still win this. They had to win this set. But, but it seems like Carolina's been out of it with that third set and the start of the fourth set. But they're, they're back in it now. Got to give them credit. Oh, nice hit. Good defense there. Another block at the net, but that one goes out. A point for Carolina. Interesting uh, hitting patterns. Um, and Manny Foster not coming out from either one or six. It's from a position in the middle. That's always hard to see because you seldom see that. So for blockers, it's a tough one. Maddie May with the serve for Carolina. Nice dig. There's Grieve again, but blocked at the net. Megan's. Now Carolina getting a three-point lead. All of a sudden, they're playing well here in this fourth set up 17-14, trying to force a fifth set. Nice pass by Vieira. Another block of the net by Carolina. She could have sat that one, but she had Feliciano next to her. Uh, Foster barely gets that one over the net. Lopez. I think it's number six touch it. Hey, did she? There's no touch. It goes out of play. The points in North Carolina up 18-14. They're not going to check it out. I think they should. I think that Imani Foster. Let's see that one. 
Yeah. That was pretty close. You know what? I you should check. I check out their faces. Right. And her face says, uh, screamed guilty, but. Boss Fair will get that one over. Blocked at the net. Oh! Another, another good job by Hampton there. Hampton just threw it down, and Lopez couldn't, and Coach Keno needs to push the emergency button here and get a timeout. 19-14 lead for North Carolina here in the fourth set, trying to force a fifth set with Miami up 2-1. to one. For North Carolina with the Tar Heels up 5, 19-14 here in the fourth set. Reed keeps it alive, wow. But the point, though, goes to Sadie Swift and the Carolina Tar Heels. Feliciano maybe a little bit more inside that she should have been there at base. 20 to 14 lead now for UNC. May continues to serve. Serving gets it done. But not there, though. This will probably be the last chance for a run for the Canes, it's a good one in the in the net, even though they're running a 5-1, but for Maria Redia is in the match. And Greaves serving down by five. Nice flat serve. Hampton blocked at the net. And that's one of the ways to get back. You will see that matchup now. They're gonna try to play Savannah against their best hitter. Savannah being a good blocker, but obviously not being the tallest player, but don't go, don't fall asleep with her. Yeah, nice job by Bach there to make it 20 to 16. They won that matchup. Bach up to Cologne. Lopez, point. that one is out. Point to North Carolina. That could be the nail on the coffin in this set. But she did what she had to do. You're playing right side, you swing. That's what you do. You don't want to be tipping or doing anything. Bare, barely out, yeah. Great job getting out of middle, middle there in position six of Emani Foster. Meyerhofer to serve for North Carolina up five. Bach up to Cologne for the point. It's a power play there. Not done yet. Nice pass. One, two, three, four. That fast paced offense. She doesn't even need to shuffle out. She goes straight for it. And he's trying to get this within three now. Nice, nice block at the net. That one goes long, long. from Swift. I want to get a timeout if you're Mike Shaw. I'm up by three, I'm down, why not? I think they're gonna see what happens, maybe the next point, because it's 21-19. Free ball. The block of the net by Carolina. Nice defense. Great job, wow. by Feliciano. Another, Another dig. One. Good rally here. I would have swung at that one. Swift with the point. I rather it was a they're they're checking for a net, which I think he missed. That could be a big one. I think it was on the play before, or was it in this one? I see. There was something going on there. He might uh -huh. want to check. It's in that last play, actually, when they're hitting. I don't know if... Oh, guys, yeah. this is not a challenge. Yeah, why not? And it was right at the hit. It was just when it was finishing. On the play before that uh, Formari had it, mm -hmm. it's a long rally. I, I'd rather take it and do whatever I can to score than to give it away and give them a chance to score. I think she right. could have gone for a bigger swing there. There was something fishy there at the end, which nobody saw, but I think when she hit, there was something moving in the net. We will find out what it is now. 
if it's on that one, uh, Coach Keno, it's going to get a nice break here because it's not the same to be 29 to 20, 19 to 21 than yeah. 22 to 18. So. Oh, that's a great one. We will see for sure on this one. Oh, he's already made the decision. I think it was, if it was, like I said, he had the best angle. That's why it was so quick. Let's see if. Double checking there. Protocol says that obviously there's somebody that writes down every single yeah. single thing that happens. So protocols are important. Oh wow! Yes. Meta North. Gotta give Keno yeah, credit. Yeah, they knew. They knew. Yeah. Okay, Keno doesn't pick up that card unless he knows. Yep. Twenty-one nineteen. And all a timeout yeah. that. Yeah. That yeah. you need now. Did you get a timeout, or are we getting free time? Mike Charles speaking. They're trying to get some clarification. Yeah, Coach Kenneth's going to let him know, too. Hey, when he calls a timeout, I... Got Another shank pass there. Hampton tip. Cologne uh, got a touch there, right? Yes. And the points in Miami down 21-20. Great serving by Feliciano, who has a toss that sometimes looks low to me. She gets me nervous. But that also helps her have that flat touch. You see the hands yep. there. Oh, she yeah. couldn't square back. Big touch there. Now the Hurricanes trying to tie things up here in the fourth set. That was a better toss there. Blocked at the net. Now one goes out of bounds, point to North Carolina. And there's some smack under the net, which I enjoy. And Sam, Safi Hampton, actually, uh, for a freshman. I love her yeah. attitude. She ain't afraid of anything. Overbeck to serve for North Carolina, up by two. Now one goes into the net. So Canes get it back, down one. Pretty much the only thing I didn't want her to do, obviously, but it happens in the match. She ain't happy about it. The action of leaving the ball in the net usually leads to a lot of deception. Bach with the serve for Miami. Foster, oh. that one goes out of bounds, no touch. We're all tied at 22. And it was obviously a no touch. I actually thought yes. that for Maria Heredia did something with it, but obviously way out of bounds. She didn't even have a shot. All right, Kane's back in this one. They now need three to win it. Oh, you got a you got a free one now. Hampton serves it or brings it back over. Whoa! Nice job by Lopez on a one-on-one -on -one situation. Found the opening, had the power. Kane's back up on top. Flor Maria Heredia being such a big hitter, you can see it there. She takes the block against the grain. On the long side, that point belongs to Savannah back. Gains up 23-22. Foster drops that one in, tied up again at 23. Pouring in some uh, cold water, everyone here. What a great set by Savannah back to Puerto Rican Grace Lopez. And now we see this hit. She hits so deep, man. That ball looks like it's coming out yeah. easily, and it's right there in. That one. Service error on North Carolina. And the Canes one point away from capturing their third straight victory. Great Graves going to come back in. If Miami can get this one, it'll be a great confidence booster for these girls. Says a lot about yep. their character. Just one of the funnest teams that I've seen here yeah. in, in Miami by far. Cologne. That one's just long. We're tied at 24. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Best of two points. 24-24. Babbitt's going to serve for North Carolina. It's a good server. Blown up oh, to Grieve. That one can't get over the net. 
That's a veteran move by Grace Lopez. Even though it's not coming, I want to jump yep. and just show you something. The moment you do that, the other player usually covers up just like she did. Match point now for the Canes. They're serving with Moiseu of 25-24, looking to close out North Carolina. Space is going to come down if they can actually pull this one out. Kept alive there by Cologne. There's Grieve. She got lucky. Man. Foster blocked at the net, tied up again at 25. A little bit tight. Middle blocker barely touched it and she turned, but the ball went up. Tied at 25, what a great set. Foster back to serve for North Carolina. And that means Hampton is now in the front row for them too. Up for Grieve, blocked at the net. That was too tight. Lopez blocked, that one drops in for Carolina. Now they're back up one, 26-25. Good choice and a good block too. That was a choice to go. We'll see if Foster can force a fifth set for Carolina. Out of bounds. Barely out, we're tied again. What a match. You gotta try for it. Let's see. They took a barely. big risk yeah. on that one. That was barely out. 26-26 in the fourth set with Lopez serving. That one's easily in. Now Kane for the shot to win it again. Let's see the Puerto Ricans get pulled a miracle out. She's already a fan favorite. Everybody loves her here. And this won't hurt. 27-26, Lopez. Oh, she cranked that one. Foster. Up there to Hampton. Oh, nice job by Savannah back. Oh, it's a double. That one goes out. And it's a win for Miami. 28-26. The Canes take it in four sets. But... Let's wait and see. Hold on a second. Mike Shaw. The line judge called a touch. I just don't know what the touch was about. Let's see what this is, if this gets extended or not. But he's doing what he's supposed to do. I mean, kudos to well, and also, Coach Shaw. Yeah, that's that's but, my job. I don't want to give it away. But you know what, too? You might as well check it. If yep. you don't check it, you lose. Yes. If you check it, you lose, so what? But yes. if, you if you don't check it, then it's over. But he's, he's checking based on the line judge there calling a touch, so there. I don't know what touch he's calling on. I mean, that's Savannah touched it. By the way, this was a very bad double, and nobody touched that ball. So that's that. That's game. All right, let's, once we get the confirmation. Can we see that one again, guys? You don't mind. No, no touch. Yeah. That's that. That's pretty obvious. That's game canes. Now, if this one stands, let's see one more if, time. If that's what they were checking, I mean, doesn't get any clearer than that. Look at the hand. No touch. Wait, wait, wait up a second. Wait up a second. Uh, oh, I might see a finger there. That's tough. I mean, that's. I mean, that's a tough one. But from that angle, it's not conclusive, though. Right. There's not. Yeah. Okay. From the other one, it didn't seem like like it touched the ball. Let's see, it's gonna be an interesting ruling here, my friend. Right. After review. No touch. Miami wins it in four sets over North Carolina. Now improving to three and one in the conference. North Carolina falls to one and three. Miami will host Florida State coming up Wednesday on ACC 